Hello, Andrew here from Harmony Music Center, and in this video I'm going to go over the verse finger-picking pattern for Landslide by Fleetwood Mac off their first album, Fleetwood Mac. And so this is part one. We'll go into the chorus and some of the other little intricacies of this song in another video. Um, but so here we are, and the chords to this are pretty straightforward. It's a C chord. Um, and then we're going to go to a chord that is a um, B over G. So we're going to take our second finger and put it on the second fret of the fifth string, and then the pinky on the third fret of the second string, the B string. Um, and then we go to A minor 7 which is just your A minor, but take that third finger off so the G string is open. And so the, um, it goes. And so starting on the C, what we're gonna be doing, the finger picking pattern here, is we're gonna be doing the thumb on the fifth string and then the first finger, the index finger, on the third string, and then the thumb on the fourth string, and then the middle finger on the, on the second string, the B string. And so that all together is thumb, one, thumb, two. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. That's the first part of the pattern. And then, um, so actually, the second part of the pattern is just a repeat of the first part of the pattern, but we eliminate the last note on the B string. So we go, the first part is thumb, one, thumb, two. And then we come back to thumb on the fifth string, first finger on the third string, thumb on the fourth string and when we when we hit that fourth string there's a pause so it is before we come to the next chord and then we start that over same pattern then the third then the a minor 7 Now the tendency here, especially when you're singing this, is to um, is to do this and to play another note at the end there, and you have to really be careful not to do that. That's not the way it goes, and it kind of it changes the groove and the way that it sounds. It's really important to have that pause after playing the D string in each chord. So work on that slowly. It's a little tricky in the beginning, so definitely just begin slowly and once you get it, you can begin to build up the speed. One thing that is said, especially in classical guitar, is that you never want to be practicing at a speed faster than what you can do smoothly and um, consistently without making mistakes. Because if you are, then you're basically practicing mistakes. And if you practice mistakes, you'll get good at them. You don't want to get good at making mistakes. You really, if you do that a lot, you're kind of building mistake making into your playing. So here's how it sounds. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.